Northwest DC, where the area around the DC Superior Court is being shut down. Now this is happening just about two hours, excuse me, five hours before two high school seniors are set to appear at that courthouse and it's where our Randy Ayala is. Randy, this process just started happening a few minutes ago. What's going on? Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, definitely unexpected here outside of the courthouse. So uh, the crew here, officers here telling me it was a suspicious package and we were here this morning since before five o'clock. Um, it is a red backpack tied to this flagpole um, sitting in front of the courthouse here. Also uh, connected as uh, tied to a scooter as well. Uh, but that package was here well before 5 a.m. When we were here, uh, the security guard said it was suspicious. He kind of gave us a heads up, but MPD in the last 30 minutes was notified about this suspicious package uh, and officers were told responded quickly, uh, shutting off the entire area around the courthouse. They said we had to be at least 500 feet away from that uh, where that package is. Uh, I asked that uh, officer, will this impact court cases today? He said absolutely. Uh, so it's also impacting the people trying to get to work um, as well as in this building uh, across the street from the courthouse. So you can see the tape up. No one can get through. Uh, so we're kind of just watching and waiting at this point. They said uh, nothing's going to be cleared until they can get someone out here to check out out this package to see exactly what it is. Uh, but again, a developing situation will bring you the latest. But we do know, you know, we were waiting for those uh, two teens to be in court at 11 o'clock this morning. Unclear right now if this will be uh, wrapped up by then. So we'll keep you posted to make sure you check online for updates, guys. All right, safety first. Uh, Brandy, let us know if something happens. We'll come right back out to you. And of course, on our live updates as well. We'll be right back.